Hi, my name is Tom Tusing, and I'm here with a new tool called OctaKeys. OctaKey is a GM 10 cut laser key origination system. It'll help you make keys for these GM 10 cuts in no time at all. Here's what you get with it. You'll get a set of instructions. Very important that you read and you understand the instructions. Inside the instructions are some charts. Once you follow the instructions, these charts will help you originate a key for the truck, okay? You're gonna get two packs of keys, okay? Each bag contains four rings, okay? Each ring has eight keys. This first bag is the door ignition set, okay? So we're gonna set the door ignition set down right there. And then this bag has just ignitions. Again, it's four rings with eight keys. So all in all, you have eight rings with eight keys. Now here's the neat thing about this. One of the keys on the door set will work in the door. You wanna find a key that turns smoothly, lock and unlock. You don't ever wanna force the key or anything like that. So right now we're going to go through the steps on making a key using the OctaKey system. So just random, randomly grab one of these sets of keys. I'm going to start with set number two. The keys are cut on both sides, so you have to try both sides when you do this. I like to use a small pair of vice grips just to have a handle so you go back and forth. After a while your fingers can hurt. So just insert the key and go back and forth. Now, one of two things is gonna happen. Either the key will not turn, or it'll clutch, meaning it spins around and nothing happens, okay? That's okay, just proceed along. You wanna find a key that turns smoothly both ways and operates the door lock, okay? So I started with the number two key. And you just give it a little bit of turn. You do not want to force it. And you have to try each key. Until you find one that turns. See how that just clutches? That's okay. Just leave it and keep going. And you don't want to sit there all day on one key. You just try it and see if it goes. And sometimes what'll happen is you'll find a key that'll only turn one way. Okay, see how that turn and it turns one way good? Okay, it's not clutching, it turns one way, but it's not turning, it clutches the other way or it won't turn. That's not your key, don't force it. Okay, just leave it alone and keep going. You wanna find one that turns both ways properly. And here's the last key on this ring. Okay, so none of the keys on this ring worked. So we're just gonna grab another set of keys. And give this a shot. Okay, this is the key ring that starts in the 60s. And it takes a little bit of patience, but you will find one that will turn both ways in the lock. Okay, there we go. So this key is turning both ways in the lock without being forced. You can see up here that it's activating the lock and unlock button on the inside. So that's the key that we wanna use, okay? So now what we need to do is determine which number we have, because one side is 61, and the other side is 60. So we wanna see which one that we wanna use. And how we do that, there's one key on a ring called the side key. That's gonna tell us which side of the key to use. It's very simple. 
there's an X marked on one side of this key. So, when you put this key into the lock, take note of how far the X is sticking away from the face of the lock. You can see some of the mill there, okay? Now we're gonna take this key out and we're gonna try the other side of the lock. Now you need to take a look at the X there and see how far it is. On this side here, the X is much closer to the face of the lock. You don't hardly see that mill at all, okay? So we're gonna be using this side of the key number, okay? So here's our key that turned and it turns back and forth. You can see that that is gonna be key number 61. So 61 is our key. And now I'm gonna unlock the car. There we go. So key number 61. So now what we do is we go to the OctaKey instruction book, okay? And it says once you have a key that turns in the lock on chart, no chart number one, door to ignition. This chart gets you a key that will turn in the ignition. Key number 61 says we're going to use key number 69, 77, 85, and 93. One of those keys will work in the ignition, okay? 69, 77, 85, and 93. So here's the one ring that has 85 and 93. And here's the one that's got 67 and, I'm sorry, 69 and 77. You have to use your vice grips on the ignition. You want to use a little bit of snap snap, not real hard, you don't want to bend the key, but you do need a little bit of torque sometimes to get the ignition to turn. So we come inside the truck. Okay, so we're going to try key number... 93 first so we turn to key number 93 and here's key number 93 okay now when you insert it have the number face away from you so the number is facing towards the front of the truck okay all the GM 10 cuts have black ears and you always try the number away from the lock that way your spacing is correct put your vice grips on it give it a quick shake like that nothing happens now we're gonna try key number 85. So I got key number 85 here. Stick it in the lock with the numbers facing forward. Get my vice grips and give it a quick shake and it turns. And that's what we want. The goal of the Octa keys is to turn this ignition on. Now we can remove this ignition and get the key code and cut a proper key. To take the shroud off, just pull on the edge and it'll come apart, okay? Set it aside. Get yourself an old pick, something like that. And the retainer hole is right up here on top, okay? So you're gonna hold this in the crank position, insert your old pick, and you should be able to pop this guy out. And you should be able to pop this guy out. <laughs> there we go. So now we got the ignition out, and you can cut it by code. Okay, we're not gonna zoom in on the code or anything like that, but the code is stamped on it, or you can disassemble it and take it apart. So that's what the goal of the Octa keys is to get that ignition turned and then get the key code off of it. Then you can snap it back in and cut your key. So that's how the Octa keys work. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how the Octa keys can open up some of these new GM Prox cars. Okay, so here we have the Prox handle and the car is locked. Okay, so there's a little hole underneath here that you can get a screwdriver on and pop the cover off that exposes the lock. Then you just grab your off the keys and start trying them in the lock. Again, you don't want to force them back and forth. See how it clutches? Okay, that's okay. Proceed along, flip the key over, it clutches, nothing happens. Here goes our key number four. It clutches, nothing happens. And just proceed along. You don't have to pry the door. You don't have to use an air wedge or anything like that. There, did you hear it? Key works back and forth. And just like that, you're inside of the car. 
with no damage to it, no scratches, no liability. Talk to Keys.